What's up guys? It is Saturday and we are going to check on our cocoon only bins. Um, so we'll start with this first one here, a buried apple right in the middle. Now last week we found worms in these two systems. So let's see what we find this week. There's the apple. There's some more apple. Just a little bit. I'm going to set this right there so we don't lose our apple. Get some more apple. No worms yet. But like I said, we know last week there was at least a worm in this bin. What I'm doing is going through here fluffing and just flipping everything over feels a little bit dry not horribly dry but I'm definitely gonna wet it down anyway we had some cold temps but these guys were in the house so they should have stayed right at about 71 72 degrees that cold snap that came through the whole country really wrecked everything. Oh, what do we got here? Oh. So we found a worm. That's good. He's the only one in here. He's got a lot of room, and I bet he's lonely. Those little parts of apple. I'm finding parts of apple everywhere. It's probably why I ain't finding no dang worms. All right, so we found one. Oh, there's another one. Two little worms. I'm sure there's more in here that we're missing. We'll find them. They'll hatch out. I'm gonna, uh, what I'm not seeing is any really cocoons anymore, so I'm sure there's worms in here. That's fine. <coughs> I'm gonna bury the little apple back here in the middle. This apple's been in there for a few weeks. So I'm probably going to add some more food in there just a little bit to see if I can attract them a little bit better. Now let's look in this bin. My apple was buried up right in the middle. Right there it is. Oh, I just knocked a worm off of it. There he is right in my little hand. Get him back in there. There's his apple. Let's see if we can't find some more. So we are at least seeing worms in these two bins that have been setting up forever. I'm gonna work on a new way to do this. Uh, hatching and growing out worms because these cocoon only bins are not my cup of tea. <clears throat> I will tell you that right now. I think I've said that about every one of these videos. But let me just get this flipped up. We know there's worms. We know they're starting to hatch. Now this last one that we're going to look at is the one I'm most interested in. Because I did it a different way. Got your apple right back there in the middle. I'm gonna put a little food in it too. This one here I did with compost and manure. And a lot less bedding. So, let's see what we got going on here. See how it just looks darker and everything? There's the apple. Seeing a dark cocoon right there. 
That little guy may be getting ready to hatch. So we're gonna set this apple off to the side. Look around through here. See what we got. Cocoon right there. Cocoon right there. There's a lot more cocoons than this one, I think. Just every time I move something, I'm pulling up cocoons. And it's starting to get real dark red, too. So I think we may see some action in this bin pretty soon. Like I said, this one was a uh, just peat moss composted manure. Haven't even put an apple in it yet because it's only been, I think it's three or four weeks old. I am not real sure, but I know it's two weeks or a week behind that one. But this one I think is getting ready to go. It has had an apple in it. What am I doing? I just pulled the apple out. So let me put that apple back in there. As you can see, this one has got a lot less bedding in it than that those other ones do. I think I'm gonna like that more. And it don't have no cardboard or paper in it, so it's just straight compost and manure and peat moss, which I think will make it a little bit easier to find babies in soon. All right, guys, so there's seven minutes and we saw a total of three worms and you heard me complain again about cocoons. I am sorry for that. 